That's right, we're doing an unboxing video. All right, so I moved because I forgot a tripod. So this is not necessarily the most ideal room to be doing a video in, but this is my first ever unboxing video, so hopefully it goes good. I hope you guys like it. Here, let's get right into it, I guess. So this, as you saw in the beginning, is from Carl's Bait and Tackle, which is by the Catch Company, which is just like another name for the brand. Just a disclaimer for this whole video, I am not sponsored at all <laughs> by this website, this brand, but I'm just gonna give you my honest opinion, and we're gonna take out some baits and just have some fun with them. Look at what I got. So, again, this is a online tackle, like, it's an online tackle store, basically. So you just go online. It's just like Amazon for fishing, but yeah, this is my bread and butter. Besides going to Bass Pro Shops, this is my second favorite thing to do in the whole world. All right, highly encourage you guys, if you wanna get into fishing, definitely go check this out. Carl's Bait and Tackle, um, shopcarls.com. I'll leave the link in the description. Boom. All right, here we go. Now, I have to go find something to open this box with, so let's see what I can find. Here we go. Let's see, SpongeBob or Star Wars key? Let's go with Star Wars. I love myself some SpongeBob, but... All right. Now, I may not be a professional fisherman, by any means, but I'm pretty much a professional box opener. All right, guys, before we get started, I'm gonna apologize for the angle. Again, I don't have a tripod, and the lighting here is kind of terrible. So, like, look, if I turn this off, is that better or worse? I think that's worse. Yeah, I mean, it's weird. It's, it's gonna be weird. The next one will hopefully be better, but right now we're just gonna do with what we got. Okay. By the way, I know what's in here <laughs> because I ordered it, but you do not know what's in here, and that's what makes unboxing videos awesome, isn't it? <sighs> I'm gonna give you guys a quick sneak peek. All right, so this is kind of just, whenever I start to run low on baits, I always go on Shop Carl's, I go to tackle stores like Bass Pro Shops, whatever, I order stuff. This is kind of just me restocking for the season because as you guys know, as I mentioned in my previous videos, it's the fall transition now, so it's getting colder. Those fish are going up shallow. They're getting a little shocked by the changes in temperature. So I just got some baits that'll hopefully do me dirty for the fall fishing season. All right, without further ado, let's get right into it. So first off, we got coming in hot in the nice, beautiful green wrapping paper. We got some Guggen Baits Rattlin' Neds. These guys are a really great Ned Rig, and what makes them cool is that they have a little rattle inside of them, hence the name Rattlin' Ned. You can skip them along the bottom. They're great for fishing for smallies, largemouth, any kind of bass that's kind of not eating your normal baits. These are a great alternative to throw, especially up north here in Vermont. Next, we have the Sukoshi Bug. So here I got two different colors because I just absolutely love these guys. We got the black and blue over here and then we got the twilight over here. Again, these are just a more advanced take on your typical Ned Rig style. So you hook them up to a weighted hook, just hop them along the bottom, skip, jump over rocks. The fish hit them so hard, it's so much fun. These are especially good for smallmouth bass, which we have a lot of up here on Lake Champlain. So can't wait to get these guys out on the water. All right. After that, we have, again, another 10,000 fish um, brand, which is also by Ketchco, if I forgot to mention for the Sakoshi bug, but this is a shimmer swimmer. So again, this is just a different take on a little paddle tail swim bait, but what makes this bait so special is that it has little reflective like aluminum inside of it, which just gives it that extra flash and gets those bass to really notice it as it swims through the water. Next we have these finesse shrooms. And like the smart guy I am, I ordered the wrong 
wait for these. I ordered a 1 6th ounce, and I should have ordered a 1 15th ounce, I think. I mean, these will work. It'll just sink faster, which I don't necessarily want, but I mean, whatever. I think I got two of these. Hold on a second. Yeah, I got two packets, so here they are side by side. These are the weighted hooks I was talking about earlier that you put on a Ned rig. So the bait sits standing upright as the weight is on the bottom and you hop them along the bottom. They're great for catching fish that are finicky and just a really good fall time bait. All right, next we have, we got a little combination of stuff here. We have two spinner baits, but we also have three trailer hooks and I'll explain those in a second. So here are the spinner baits and one of them is by Strike King and the other one's by the Catch Co. Yeah, Carl's Amazing Baits. These guys are just awesome because as you rip them through the water, the blades spin, hence the name spinner baits, but they give off a lot of vibration and flash and they really key in those bass to bite even in like the murkiest of waters and stuff and even when it's cold. And then over here, we have my trailer hooks. Now these are all the same thing. They just came in packets of one. I don't know why, but yeah, they did. And so these trailer hooks, what they do is you put them on the hook of a spinner bait and they face the same direction as the hook on the spinner bait because the spinner baits only have one hook. So what trailer hooks do is they allow you to have two hooks, one from the spinner bait and then one that hangs off the end. So it allows you to increase your hookup ratios. A lot of times fish will bite but they'll miss the hook on the spinner bait and get hooked on the trailer hook. So I highly recommend grabbing some trailer hooks if you're gonna go spinner bait fishing because it can catch you that bass that you might not have gotten otherwise. Next we have a similar bait. It's a little different, a little different presentation. Um, this is a buzz bait. And so what's cool about a buzz bait is that it looks a lot like a spinner bait, and you might think it's the same thing with you know the hook and the spinning part on the top. But which what sets us apart from a spinner bait is basically where in the water column you fish it. Spinner baits you fish along the bottom or like mid water column, but buzz baits you really just want to fish on the top because just the way you retrieve them, they spit up a ton of water when you bring them along the top, and you can usually add like a plastic frog that has kicking tails to it. It's just a great frog imitation and it gives off again a lot of vibration just like the spinner bait. So this is another great fall time bait especially if the top water bite is on. All right there are only four items left. What should I pick out first? Well you know what I'm picking out. I'm picking out the nails. No I'm totally kidding. Um we're going for the crankbaits. Now you may be saying Eamon, what the heck? You ordered two of the same bait, and they're the exact same color. Why would you do that? Well, I'll tell you why I'd do that. One size, right? This one's way smaller than that one. But two, the brand. Now, I knew I wanted... This specific color is called Sexy Shad, or OG Sexy, or however you want to say it. Basically, it imitates a shad, which is like white and yellowish, I guess. <laughs> they're mostly just white. But... A really popular color, especially for fall time. I knew that, so I wanted to get some crankbaits because I didn't have any. So I went on Shop Carl's, and boom, they had this guy right here. This called the Baby Boy, I think, because it's so small. It's such a small crankbait. But so I got that, and I was like, cool, whatever. And then I remembered that Guggen Baits, the guys who made this bait right here, the guys who made that bait, the Rattle and Ned, also have their own crankbait line now and I've never I've seen videos of them using them but I never got to test them out so I ordered myself a banger which is just their name for a square bill crankbait that they have so hopefully I've seen some really big fish and some really high numbers of fish being caught on this guy so I really want to see what sets them apart from the others and we're gonna give them a spin hopefully this fall catch some fish on them all right so here we have some nail weights. Yeah, that's right. I wasn't kidding. I actually did order nails from a fishing store. The reason why I ordered these nails is because they are not any ordinary nails. No, they're actually nail weights. They're specifically designed for a type of rig 
And if you guys don't know what a rig is, that's just like the kind of lure you throw or the kind of setup you have with like a soft plastic. So anyway, I don't know if you guys watched my previous video, The Trout Adventures Part 2, where, I mean, I don't want to spoil it, but I caught some fish with a wacky worm. What this bait allows you to do is do that same wacky worm style, but you put the nail in one side of the worm, which weights it down, obviously. So then when you cast it, instead of having the worm slowly sink to the bottom and then just sit there on the bottom flat, what this does is it makes it stand up straight. So as you twitch it and it hops along the bottom, it's kind of the same presentation as a Ned rig where the bait stands straight up, but this is just a little more versatile and you can use it on a bunch of different baits that you might not be able to set up on a Ned rig. So this is a great little cheap, weight to have in your arsenal. And finally, the moment I'm sure you all have been waiting for, we have ourselves a tackle box or a tackle tray. So yeah, I got this guy right here just because I knew I was running low on storage because especially if I was ordering all these new baits, right, I'm gonna need something to put them in. So. These things are great for bass lures because it's so much room, super compactable. You can just slide it into your bag like a binder for school or whatever, and you can just fit a bunch in in like one small bag. So they're great. I'm gonna put my lures in here, and I'm gonna bring you back when they're all set, and then we're gonna wrap this video up. Just kidding. I'm actually not gonna put the baits in the box right now because that's gonna take way too much time and I'll do it later. I hope you guys enjoyed this unboxing video. Um, let me know if you want to see more stuff like this because I'm always open to do cool stuff as long as it's fishing or wildlife or whatever associated. All right, we're gonna get real here. Before I end this video, I want to be clear. I paid for this with my own money and let me tell you, fishing is not a cheap hobby, okay? There's maybe some people out there thinking, how you got all this free stuff? What is all this ch super cheap, blah, 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 you know? No, this, I'm not gonna tell you how much it cost, but let me just say it was close to three digits and it's only like 12 items. So I just wanna make it clear that if you wanna get into fishing, especially sport fishing and bass fishing, it's gonna put a hole in your wallet. You can be smart about it, and you can do things like, oh, I don't know, join Carl's Bait and Tackle. <laughs> but seriously, that shopping online like this, especially with the memberships that I have, saves you a ton of money rather than going to stores and paying for it, because um, it's also free shipping. Again, I'm not sponsored by Carl's. I mean, that would, that would be great, you know, like they could sponsor me, that would be awesome. I could do some MTB collabs, I could meet my, the YouTubers, you know, just like. <laughs> so I'm not sponsored. Definitely recommend being smart about what you're buying if you are gonna get into fishing. And yeah. So I hope you guys enjoyed this installment of unboxing video on ECNE fishing drop a like ding that notification thing too it'll notify you every time I post a video so you'll be ready tell your friends have some fun go outside get on the water do whatever makes you happy and I'm gonna end it with an important quote from Carl himself education is important but fishing is importanter and as always, folks, have a great day.